The House will now have under consideration House Bill Number 440, the lady from District 1. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I ask for unanimous consent to dispense with the reading of House Bill 440. You've heard the unanimous consent request. Is there an objection? Hearing none, the ladies recognized. Open the debate on House Bill 440. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, I want to start with a short story. Just before I graduated college, I applied for a job with the Ohio Division of Natural Resources. And this would have been the first real job in my field of study. And I was pretty excited. And after the interview, the gentleman said to me, well, we're hiring seven people, and at least five of them have to be female, so I guess you'll be getting a call next week. And um, I was just disturbed by that. It, it, I was actually really mad, and I walked out and said, I don't want your job on these conditions. I wanted to be hired on my merits, the fact that I was a hard worker, I was committed and focused and had put myself through school, but this guy just saw me as a woman, and he needed to get five of them for the position. My past experience is what inspires me to carry House Bill 440. I believe, as I believe many of us do, um, it's deeply offensive to hire someone or not based on their race, sex, their color, ethnicity, or national origin. That's not who we are or who we should be. We can promote diversity, but we should refuse to reduce people down to the color of their skin or some other trait. Frankly, it's offensive. Hiring decisions should be made on merit and competence, and the best person should get the job. House Bill 440 would prohibit the state of Idaho and its political subdivisions from discriminating or granting preferential treatment to any individual or group based on sex, color, ethnicity, national origin, or um, in the operation of public employment, public education, or public contracting. All applicants should be treated equal unless there's qualifications based on sex that are reasonably necessary. People be, need to be hired on their, their merits and competency. This was a basic understanding that's enshrined in our Constitution. Individual liberty and equality of citizenship, we are all created equal. The language before you today in House Bill 440 is the exact same language that's in nine other states. Uh, one of these states is in their Constitution and another one it's in an executive order. Texas, Arizona, California, Oklahoma, Michigan, Nebraska, Washington State, New Hampshire, and Florida all have this same language in their code in one form or another. Uh, many of these states, states call this their civil rights amendment. Um, this and, and so I passed out a handout, and, and if you look at that handout, um, this language has been held, upheld in courts uh, on many occasions, twice in the California Supreme Court, twice in the Ninth Circuit Court, um, which is our, our circuit, and then the United States Supreme Court. This, this exact language has been upheld. And then there's some other uh, lawsuits on state hiring practices and contracting, and, and you, can see, um, you can see where it's been upheld in other, other um, lawsuits. So those are just some examples of how unfair hiring has slipped into areas of government. Uh, we need to treat everyone equal and fair, and this language will protect citizens to be treated as individuals. Um, this bill is an update to Idaho code that ensures that the state and its political subdivisions hire the best applicants possible, regardless of their sex, skin color, gender, national origin, or creed. I stand for questions.